like they meant business. Piles of metal cans were crushed into one compact cube of aluminium. Charged power cell. to get those doors open, all right? Just about. Did you uh, do the jig? Sure did. You said it was essential. That's right. Although, here's a funny thing. My wife never does the jig back at the farm. But it always seems to open for her. Anyway, what can I do for you? So all you need to get into the city is a charged power cell? Like a cheese sandwich needs chutney. Here, this should do the trick. Is that a new power cell? Juiced up? You beautiful man. How did you do it? Well, it all started with a dead man in the desert. Not gonna stop you there, chum. Any story that starts with a dead man is best kept to yourself. Hey, any chance of a lift into the city? Typical. No one ever does anything from the goodness of their art these days. I just figured that... Oh, all right. Up in the back. You earned it. You sure it's safe back here? 100% lad. I'll take your word for it. Just watch out for me neck bursts. I've lost enough business already. I can take you, I'm afraid. You can catch a monopod into the city from over there. And where are you going? Straight to cargo. Gotta get these babies. Quarantined? 
distributed. Thanks for the ride, Wendell. Maybe see you again. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Outdated U-chip firmware detected. Firmware must be updated to use Union City facilities. I was about to return to give Ember a piece of my mind when... Transporting you to the nearest safety services. Stalkers had come into the city, but looking around, that didn't make any sense. This place was a paradise compared to the Union City I'd left all those years ago. Joey had certainly turned the place around. I had to find the Stalkers, and whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. I just had to sort out my U-chip problems first. I trust you are well on this fine day. Actually... Aha! Uh -huh. Have you tried Dijon Buttercream Spankles? It's new. Sounds delightful. That's the spirit. Now, Mr. Grundy, we both know why you're here, don't we? Uh... I guess we do. Your firmware. It's ridiculously out of date. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Go on, place your hand on the platform. Okay, here goes. Well, that's very strange. Okay. What's very strange? What's very strange? You said that's very strange a moment ago. Something about my data. I didn't. You said, what's very strange? I only said it because you said that's very strange. Great. What else can I do for you, Citizen Graham? There was something strange about the ID that I had acquired. While she may have lost the plot, I definitely hadn't. 
Would you mind scanning my U-chip like you did before? But, Graham, your firmware is up to date. Humor me. Okay. Well, that's very strange. Okay. There, you just did it again. Because you asked me to humor you. I mean, you said that's very strange again. I assure you that I have a precise log of this entire conversation, and I said no such thing. It appeared that every time she tried to access my data, the last few seconds of her memory was wiped. Is there anything else I can help you with? Thank you. Was I helpful? Yes. Would you like to fill out a survey? Yeah, why not? Excellent. Question one of 100. Are you satisfied? Whoops, gotta go. Now that I dealt with my U-chip problem, I needed to find out more about my new identity, Graham Grundy. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? I knew Graham had some sort of connection to Milo's kidnapping. His home would be my best, in fact, my only lead. Take me to Graham, my home. Lakeview Apartments. Certainly, Citizen Graham. The city knew a lot more about Graham than I did. As I arrived masquerading as a dead man called Graham, I was apprehensive about what I would find. But I had no choice. I had to find the stalker. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. The seal on the floor showed my buddy Joey just as I remembered him, when I left him in charge all those years ago. Hey, buddy, watch where you're standing. What's your problem? Your face, for one. Excuse me. <laughs> well, if you hadn't been staring at the floor like a moron, you'd have seen me. I didn't catch your name. I'm your mama. <laughs> what? Do you live here? Do I look like I live here? I'm not from around here. Maybe everyone here looks like you. Yeah? And what do I look like? Trouble. Keep walking. Do you know where I can find Joey? Oh, I don't know, weirdo. They say he walked into the gap, or sailed across the sea. Either way, he abandoned us all in this place. You don't like it here? Needs more color, wouldn't you agree? Do you know a guy called Graham Grundy? Nope, sounds like a moron. In that case, let me introduce myself. Graham Grundy. Doesn't surprise me. What happened after Joey left? Well, duh. Council runs the city now. Seriously, I'd like to know your name. Seriously, go find a friend. What are you doing here? Oh, what do you want? Just information. Yeah? So go visit the museum. I'll leave you to whatever it was you were doing. Aw, really? I miss you. Yes, I'm very busy. Hey, Dirtbag, what's your favorite color? Huh? You heard me. What's your favorite color? Red? Bold choice. Later, man purse. Later, uh, backpack. Ha! You got nothing. Clearly not everyone in Union City was quite as courteous as they were happy.
Wait, I know that you chip. Oh my, is it really? Yes, it is. Master Graham, you have returned. How wonderful. Good day, huh? I shall inform Madam and her guest that you have arrived. She will be so pleased. No, no, that won't be necessary. She will be overjoyed that you have finally returned to the bosom of the family. My apologies for the interruption, Madam Songbird. It's Master Graham. What about him, Chipworth? It appears he has arrived home, madam. He has, but that's... Wonderful! Oh, thank Joey! My dear husband is back! Ah, I was hoping to meet you, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonzo, Ministry of Wellbeing. I was just here to investigate some irregularities. I'm sure my Graham needs a few moments to freshen up. Why don't I show you my kudos records? I don't know who you are, but right now we're both in a lot of trouble. So for both our sakes, you'd better convince the Mentor that you're Graham. Um, yes, of course. I'll stall him. Just don't come through that door until you know enough about Graham to pass yourself off as him. Don't worry. You can count on me. I wasn't sure what I'd walked into. But if I was to convince anyone I was Graham, I needed to find out more about him. His job, his family, his state of mind. The mentor could ask me about anything. Information about Graham was scattered all over the place. All I had to do was look around. Welcome back, Graham. Displaying your health chart now. It has been two weeks since your last checkup. You have lost weight. Congratulations. It has been noted that your height has increased. Adjusting records accordingly. Scanning for medical implants. Error. Implant missing. Refreshing biomodification database. Please wait. Removing cardiac implant registration. Registering Shriebman port as new implant. The scanner had detected my Shriebman port which allowed me to interact with Link, the city's old network. Since then, I'd pretty much forgotten about it. Adjusting your health rating from C to A+. I was considerably fitter than Graham. That was good to know. What devices do I have installed? You possess a U-chip personal data implant in the perlicue of your right hand. It is functioning correctly. Your cardiac regulator implants have been marked as removed. Please return them to your nearest medical waste facility. You possess a Shriebman local interneural connection port in the third cervical vertebrae. This hardware predates the Minos system and cannot be accessed at this terminal. That's probably for the best. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. That's all for now. Due to the alteration of your physical parameters, a new uniform has been ordered and will arrive at your home shortly. Keep a smile on your face. I was a lot healthier than Graham. In fact, I'd say Graham was downright unhealthy. I had made some headway, but I still needed to know about Graham's work and social standing. After 10 years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. So Graham was a cleaning supervisor? The logo on the uniform was quite distinct. I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. There was a boot print. Curious. A box had been hidden outside the window. If I could get the window open, I'd be able to reach that box. I was hit by the acrid smell of chemicals.
council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. I knew quite a bit about Graham's work and health, but I figured I could learn more if I found his kudos records, a chart showing that Graham's kudos score had recently dropped. I wondered what had caused such a sharp decline. I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. The calendar showed today as a holiday, Aspiration Day. Among the drawings were photographs land trains and the city walls looked like these photos were taken by the city walls a uniform like the one graham's wife wore it was cut for someone much larger a cavalcade of cryptids someone believed in monster stories Rhythmic Gymnastics, first place. That looked like Graham and his wife on their wedding day. They looked blissfully in love. A shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. pictures were all of Graham's wife. They were photochemical prints, taken using an old-style film camera. The retro technology had managed to blend songbirds seamlessly into the fake backgrounds. The photography was impressive, but the subject didn't look happy. The pictures in the apartment told a sad story, a blissful romance that had soured with time. trees in the gap weren't as pretty, but at least they were real. Excuse me, please. Hello there. Chipworth, wasn't it? Master Graham, may I say, sir, is looking even more fabulous than usual today. Why, thank you. Has Master Graham lost weight? Maybe. Does Master Graham look like he's lost weight? Tell me, Chipworth, who was that woman just now? But that was Sir's wife, Madam Songbird. Yes, of course. Uh, my wife. Is Sir quite feeling himself? It's fine. I've just been having a difficult few days. How serendipitous that the well-being mentor is here, then, is it not, sir? Tell me about that woman. A woman? Can sir possibly be referring to his good lady wife? Humor me. For instance, her name would be... Madam Songbird? Clearly, sir is not feeling quite himself today. Sir might recall he even forgot dear old Chipworth's name earlier. Who? Uh... 
me, sir. Who was that guy in here when I arrived? Is sir referring to the gentleman currently probing your wife in the bedroom? Uh, I guess I am. That would be the Honorable Mentor Alonzo, Senior Officer at the Ministry of Wellbeing. I believe that he would like to see you next. He would? Just some minor things, then. Consumption patterns, bio-signs, indication of physical existence. I think I get the picture. But I'm sure there's a simple answer, Master Graham. So, what do you do, Chipworth? Whatever sir desires. Can you juggle? Sadly, sir, one's capabilities are restricted to the minutiae of domestic service. Shame. At least as far as anyone else needs to know. This mentor, what will he ask me about? The Ministry of Wellbeing is always concerned, sir, with the citizen's well-being. Well-being? Why exactly was I selected? I believe, sirs, two week long work, poll, and social hiatus may have raised some concerns. Just be yourself, sir, and you will be fine. Of course, because I am Graham Grundy. Chipworth, tell me everything you know about me. Request respectfully declined, sir. But aren't you my butler droid? And why can't you tell me? Standing orders, sir. Whose orders? Graham had made sure his droid wouldn't talk. I had to do my own investigating. Have a super day. Serving you, sir. Every day is super. If I was going to convince the Mentor, I had to be sure I knew enough about Graham. I couldn't keep them waiting any longer. From that point on, I had to be Graham Grundy, cleaning supervisor. Darling, I thought you were going to freshen up. I was, but I missed the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, Graham, always the romantic. But please don't kiss me until you've showered. Wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I couldn't let Alfonso hear. Alonso? Monopolize my lovely wife for a moment longer. In which case, shall we begin? Of course. Shall we take a seat in the lounge? It was now or never. So, Mr. Grundy... Mentor Alonso, what would you like to know? Ah, oh, well, straight to the point. I like that. As I was explaining to your dear wife earlier, there have been some issues with your activity records of late. Issues? What do you mean? Mr. Grundy, a word to the wise. This will be much smoother if you leave the questions to me. Now, whilst your records load, remind me, in which ministry are you employed? Comfort. I'm a cleaning supervisor. Yes, of course. Ah, here we go. Graham Grundy, 42, cleaning supervisor with the Ministry of Comfort. Cleaning supervisors require Class C exertive activity certification. I trust that your health rating is sufficient. I did drop down a bit, but I'm back to Class A+, plus now. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, with that in mind, I will mark you as fit for work, barring any other issues. Well, obviously, your chaos level will have fluctuated due to your absence. You're a C+, plus right now. I note you used to be much higher. B. 
Yes, well, you'll be back up there in no time. Well, that is all I need to check off. But I'd be remiss if I didn't offer you all the extra support and guidance that you need. Mentor? When someone goes off grid, there's usually some underlying trouble. And as a mentor, I like to think of myself as a bit of a troubleshooter. Of course. I appreciate the concern. So, let's get to the bottom of all this confusion. Dig a bit deeper, eh? Deeper? Yes, right. By all means, mentor. Tell me about your workplace. I trust there are no issues. land train facility. It's a fine place to work. I'm sure it is. Department of Land Trains and Extra City Commerce. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Couldn't be happier. We are, of course, very grateful for your service, Mr. Grundy. But there we come to the crux of the matter. Your absence. Fifteen days is a, a long time. This is, of course, why my ministry has become involved in your case. We have been concerned for your well-being. I'm fine. Better than ever, in fact. Excellent. Now, speaking of your health, I note you had some surgery last year. Tell me about your implants. Are they working effectively? You mean my heart regulators? Nothing to worry about. As you can see, the beat goes on. Yes. Well, I must say you're in remarkable shape considering your medical history. Of course, your mental well-being is just as important to us. How are you getting on with your <laughs> rather peculiar hobbies? You mean my photography? I do, yes. You can't beat the feeling of an old-time film camera. I can imagine. You have an eye for composition. Although I don't understand your interest in using such archaic technology. Choosing to fiddle with knobs rather than availing of ministry-recommended filters, stabilization, automatic archive, and data retrieval, all courtesy of Minos. If we can't see what you create, how can we share in your interests? What can I say? I like a challenge. I'm sure you do, Graham. Ah, oh, well. I have a busy day of appointments, so sadly we must conclude our little trap there. It's been a pleasure, Mentor. <laughs> Hasn't it? So with that in mind, perhaps you can tell me where you've been for the last two weeks. What? Right. Yes, where have I been the last two weeks? Well... Okay, so... The last two weeks. I was working at the land train facility, of course. Cleaning. I'm a cleaning supervisor. And while I was cleaning, I must have... bumped my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere. Still on the train. Two weeks later, the train returned to the city. Cleaner than it's ever been, I might add. My poor darling! How awful! What a dreadful thing to happen! I believe I have all the answers I need from you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Mr. Grundy. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, j just a teeny tiny thing before I go. There appears to be one or two anomalous results here. Anomalous? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it may be nothing. But here's the thing. I get strange readings when I scan your U-chip. Any idea why? Maybe it got damaged when I fell. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. That's probably it. You see, the only other time I've seen anything like this is when a U-chip has been tampered with. No one would have done that now, would they? Tampered with? I didn't even know that you could do that. Graham's a supervisor, not a subversive mentor. 
Yes, a supervisor, not a subversive. Damaged when he fell. Request analysis. There, perfect. I have everything I need. Great. Chipbot will show you out. Chipworth, darling? <laughs> Just my little joke. Chipworth. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Grundy. I don't know who you are or what you've done with Graham, but I think we got away with that. I hope so. I don't think that we would get away with it a second time. Nor do I. If there is anything wrong with Graham's U-chip, you would better sort it out sharpish before Alonzo's analysis comes back. Who even are you? Where's Graham? Are you that contact he kept ranting about? Whatever Graham had been up to, it had gotten him killed. I had to come clean with his wife. There's no easy way to say this, but I'm afraid Graham is dead. What? How? Where? I found him. In the Gap. The Gap? What was the idiot doing in the Gap? Was that where he was always sneaking off to? Ugh. A child, Milo, was abducted from a village out there and brought into Union City. And I think Graham was somehow connected. Sure. And pigs fly. Listen, stranger. I'm sure you can understand this has been a rather harrowing day. This is all too much for me right now. Tell me about it. So, I'm gonna do some damage control on social media. In the meantime, I guess that officially it is your home, so you can stay, but... This is my bedroom, and that one is yours. No cute ideas. Understood. Songbird seemed rattled by the news. Not surprising. But whoever this contact of Graham's was, I suspected they were the key to finding Milo. Given your experience, your input here would be greatly appreciated. Orana, isn't it? You strike me as a fine young officer of the Ministry of Well-Being. Would you say that's an accurate description? I'm flattered, sir. Your record is exemplary, I believe. I do my best, sir. I'm sure you do. So please, don't let me down. Fix this mess. Mess? You mean the girl? The whole untidy situation. Yes, sir. At girl? <laughs> Keep a smile on your face. After all, it's aspiration day, isn't it? The happiest day of the year. I'll take care of it, sir. I know you will. By the way, a call to pest control wouldn't go amiss. Of course, sir. Meanwhile, I shall isolate this area until this unfortunate incident has been resolved. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your advice. <laughs> We're all here to learn from each other. Take care now. Oh no! Help! Help! 
Hearing her name had triggered a total change in the girl's behavior. I needed to find a way to get her down before she fell. to carry heavy water tanks. Excuse me. Sir? What's going on? Just a citizen in trouble, all under control. Why is she up there? I don't know. I'm not sure she does either. What happened here? I don't know, but we have to get her down. Anything I can do to help? No need, sir. All under control. Really? Why is the monopod locked down? To keep people happy, sir. How? Well, this situation has the potential to be unpleasant. So we keep the situation contained until it can be resolved. But I'd really like to go somewhere. A little patience, sir, would be appreciated. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Okay. No! I don't know how I got up here! Raquel! Raquel Dijon! Don't panic! I'm from the Ministry of Wellbeing! How can we help? Nothing to see here, sir. I suggest you go back inside and enjoy some screen-based entertainment. Excuse me? I'd like to make a complaint. Please, both of you. I'm a welfare officer. I know how to deal with this kind of problem. I just need to check the negotiation protocol. Well, thank goodness the Ministry is on this. It's all very distracting. Can you see any way down from there? No! And everything's wet now thanks to that robot. Think you can get on the robot when it passes? I, I can try. But, but what if... We'll catch you. You can do it. I rather doubt she can. Can't you try and be more encouraging? You have a reasonably good eye for aesthetics! Thank you! Now, grab on tight. We'll be right underneath you. You'll be fine. Human grip strength is famously reliable. Only in short bursts. Okay, here goes. How do you feel, Raquel? Are you okay? I... I don't know. Well, I'm glad that's all sorted. Shall I call a pod for her? I've got it from here, thank you. Raquel, what were you even doing up there? I, I don't know. I, I don't really remember... anything. The 
The girl looked glad to be back on solid ground. Excuse me. Mr. Grundy. Oh, Mr. Grundy. Mr. Grundy? Bravo, Mr. Grundy. Your actions in this situation were sublime, albeit unconventional. The local noise levels have already returned to normal, and the building will soon sparkle again. I'm more concerned about the girl. Is she gonna be okay? Yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. And all that. Officer, wouldn't you say that Mr. Grundy's actions today weren't a kudos boost, hmm? Of course. Thank you for the suggestion. Tarquin, miss. Orana. Orana Newblood. Yeah, like the guy said. Graham Grundy. Mr. Grundy? I'm on the trail of a missing kid called Milo. I think he's somewhere in Union City. That shouldn't be difficult. Any greeter terminal will be able to find him via U-chip. No, that won't help. He was brought here from the Gap. That's not possible. I assure you. Where did you say you worked, Mr. Grundy? That'd be the Ministry of Comfort. I suggest you concentrate on your work and leave well-being issues to the appropriate ministry. So, do you work here? I'm an officer for the Ministry of Well-being. You often have to talk girls off high ledges? My first one. You did a good job. Thanks. What is the reflection spa? What is the... Are you feeling okay, Graham? Everyone this side of the industrial level has heard of reflections. Oh, you mean that reflection spa. It's been a long day. Next, you'll be asking me to tell you about this Joey guy. No, no, I'm familiar. Raquel. Is she always like that? What do you mean? Well, I met her earlier, and she seemed like a totally different person. She's been through a big ordeal. Nothing that a trip to the reflection spa won't sort out. Will she be in trouble for the graffiti? Well, no real harm done. The droid will clean us up, eventually. That said, her kudos rating will take a hit. All because she defaced Joey? People loved Joey, and what he did for us. Joey was my friend. We did so much together. Well, he might be gone, but he's not forgotten. You can find out about our savior at the Museum of New History. You mentioned I could find out about Joey in a museum? Yes. The Museum of New History has exhibits about how he transformed the city. I'd recommend it to anyone who wants to learn about him and his legacy. A museum dedicated to Joey? He'd be proud of that for sure. Well, it's not all Joey. They have a special exhibit about the previous administration. Old technology, maps, that sort of thing. My advice, though, is to avoid dwelling on the past. Anyway, taking in some culture is good for you. Find it at the piazza if you get the chance. How is the girl doing? She'll be fine. This sort of trauma is best handled at the reflection spa. I guess I should get going. Yeah, well, thanks for your help. I suppose I should thank you too. No problem. You take care. You too, Mr. Grundy. If you need any well-being support, just ask for me at a greeter terminal. Orana Newblood. Come on, Raquel. Let's get you to the spa. You'll be feeling better in no time. No need to worry, Raquel. You're safe now. Happy faces all round, right? In fact, this calls for a... a celebration. It is Aspiration Day, after all. Oh, goodness. Is it? All day. And you know what would be the best end to a day like this? A trip to the Reflection Spa. I'll pull a string or two, and we'll get you straight to the front of the line. Hello, Chipworth. Hello, Master Graham. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Please, can you open the windows, Chipworth? 
Very good, sir. Whatever was in the box, Graham had clearly not wanted anyone to find it. Inside was a small glass lens. It had deep cuts scored across its surface. But that wasn't all. Tucked beneath was a photograph, a picture of a stalker, a child's face pressed against the window. Suddenly I realized that it wasn't just Milo. It was clear that multiple children were being taken into the city, and somehow, Graham was connected to it. Ahem. Songbird, I'm sorry. For what? That your husband is dead. Eh, win some, lose some. That's pretty harsh. Look, stranger. You told me your secret, so I'll tell you mine. Last few years, Graham gave up trying to be anything other than the dullard he really was. If it weren't for the kudos for being married, I'd have dumped him months ago. You're new here, so a word of advice? You want to win in Union City? Learn the rules and play the game. My name's Foster, by the way. Robert Foster. Songbird. Is there anything more you can tell me about Graham? Not much. He was a loner. His only friends were idiots like him. What were you saying about Kudos? Were you born yesterday? Let's just say I'm new here. Okay, newbie. Here's how it works in Union City. Be a good example, stay happy, and you get Kudos. Which you... spend? Well, kinda, but not really. The higher your kudos level, the lower you are in the city. Simple. So kudos is... bad? Aren't you listening? Lower. Lower is better. Who's this contact you mentioned? Bad news, as far as my kudos level is concerned. What do you mean? Graham was always rambling on about this hacker friend of his. Had a daft name. Leet, I think. Any idea where I could find Leet? Probably somewhere up top, with the other degenerates. If I were you, I'd stay away. Did Leet believe in Graham's conspiracies? Believe? Pretty sure he's where Graham got him from. Bad influence all round. Tell me more about Graham. Why do you want to know? I think he might have been involved in something. What do you mean? I came to Union City from the Gap because I was investigating a mysterious... Oh, for Joey's sake, not you too. Blah, blah, conspiracy, blah, blah, giant dog. Graham was the perfect husband until he started getting crazy ideas. Why couldn't he just have an affair like a normal person? Could Graham have had anything to do with kidnapping? For both our sakes, I hope not. So you need a higher kudos to get lower? Of course. That industrial pit up there hovers over me like a storm cloud. And this middle level is simply beneath me. I think I understand what you mean. But the lower level, now they are my kind of people. They've got standards that you don't see enough of around here. Bye, Songbird. Yeah, bye. A collection of toy animals were lined up in little baskets. 
one was missing. Carl Koala. Dave Dingo. Dave Dingo. There was an empty spot marked Bartleby Bilby. In Union City, even the teddy bears had screens. This one was broken. I poked at it, but I couldn't get it to turn on. Jasmine. Excuse me, Songbird? Hello, husband. Are you a collector? What? Toys. You have quite the collection. Oh, yes. The whole set of cuddly kitties. Even the limited edition Mama Bear from five years back. Well, I did have the whole set, at least. Did something happen? Bartleby went missing, that's what. I asked Graham about it and he denied all knowledge. Then, when I tried to use the Mama Bear tracker to find dear Bartleby, he threw her across the room. Clumsy. Clumsy? Those bears were my engagement gift. He hid Bartleby just to spite me. Graham had taken Songbird's toy Bilby, but I couldn't figure out what he'd have wanted with it. Wherever he'd gone, Graham clearly didn't want to be tracked. What's a mama bear tracker? What do you think? It tracks her babies. Her babies? The cuddly kiddies. Most toys in Union City are tracker enabled. Lost toys mean screaming babies. Unless you got a tracker. Mind if I have a look at the tracker? Go ahead, though the screen is broken. Squeeze the left ear to turn it on. Thanks. Yeah, bye. It looked like Graham had taken Bartleby and didn't want it tracked. I had a hunch that he had taken it to Leet, but had no idea why. The device was now on, but with the screen broken, I need to find another way to get at the data. I wondered why Graham had taken a children's toy. Hello there. I'm Mama Bear. Hi. Mama Bear looks after all the cuddly kitties. Are you looking for one of my children? I'm looking for Bartleby Bilby. Don't worry, child. Look at my tummy to find your missing friend. Plinth was showing the toy's tracking data. All I needed to do was locate the area code E1594, find the tracker, find Leet. I swapped the lens for the broken one from the lockbox.
I had a lead, a map reference, E1594. Graham had put a tracker there. Maybe it was the key to finding his hacker friend, Leet. Citizen Graham, where would you like to go? The piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. 